Let's talk about Nissan Diesel, also known as UD Trucks. I'm going to show you their data link connector locations. However, we noticed that some users struggle in finding the data link connector locations for Japanese commercial trucks. This is 2005 Nissan Diesel Q1 model. I'm going to show you actual data link connector locations for this model.
hasn't. Let's try to erase the code. Without physical inspection of removing or getting into the parts, you can check the condition of the sensors or compare the value and make a judgment. Let's go to data analysis to check some live data. Let's select it details for a better view. You can see many other different live data. It has 60 items such as engine speed, fuel injection quantity, common rail pressure, air intake, boost to pressure, VNT, EGR, opening, and so on. This data analysis menu is very useful when you want to check to selected parts. During the test, you can actually hear the sound or visually check the movement of the parts. Let me show you an example. This 2005 UDQ1 model does not show actuation test function. Because for some models, we've put uh, actuation test functions into special functions. So keep that in mind if you don't, do not see actuation test function. You can just go to a special function and find for actuation test. For example, fuel injection test. By using actuation test function, you do not have to remove the parts or manually test the defective parts to check its operation. Now when you're done with preliminary checks and still the problem exists, you might do some extra visual inspection. After all checks and defective part is confirmed, you would make a decision, replacing or fixing. From mid-2000s, almost all vehicles are equipped with a bunch of electronics, such as computer modules, solenoids, and sensors. For the purpose of achieving advanced comfort or outstanding performance,
This function enables you register or write injector ID code when replacing injector or ECU. You have to set ignition on and engine stop. When you're ready, press OK. As you can see, these are each cylinder's injector's code already registered in ECU. If you replaced cylinder 1 injector, you can press F1. And now you can input injector's ID code. The amount of digits would be 30 digits. When you're ready, press OK and then it will be finished. Fuel injection stop test. This function performs fuel injection stop. Check the following conditions. You have to stop in a safety place. Pull the parking brake and put the shift lever in neutral with engine running at idle. Warm up the engine until the coolant temperature is greater than 65 degrees Celsius or 149 Fahrenheit. Release the foot from the accelerator pedal. Turn off the exhaust brake switch and the engine warm-up switch. When you're ready, press OK. Now you can see engine speed, accelerator sensor, open position, engine coolant temperature and the current status. Let's press OK to start. Number six. Test has been completed successfully. You can release the accelerator pedal now. You can see all the cylinder stop time results. And if you look at the bottom, it says the cylinder stop time lag is up to 100,000 microseconds and the cylinder which indicates the short stop time interval is failure. This means if any of the cylinder stop time is 100,000 microseconds less than the average of these results, that cylinder must be in bad condition. And when you're done, you can press OK. Running Excel sensor adjust. Adjust the accelerator pedal stopper, turn buckle, and kick damper if it's available. To
the voltage within the range. For kick damper, if it's available, step on the accelerator pedal until the value reaches the standard range. If the value is out of the range, adjust the position of the kick damper to keep within the range. If the voltage remains out of the standard range even after the adjustment, the axle sensor needs replacement. When you're done reading, press next. Now you can see some values of the uh, axle sensor. Press the accelerator pedal and you will see the value is changing. If you look at the bottom, it says standard range. In idling position, the voltage should be in between 0.7 to 1.0 uh, volt. Now the pedal is in idling position. The current value stays within the standard range. In full throttle position, the voltage must be in between 3.9 and 4.1 volts. And the axle position is in full throttle position. The current value is in between the standard range. This model doesn't have the kick damper, so it doesn't show the kick damper item and the value. When you're done, press OK. Turn the ignition key off for more than 10 seconds and then turn the ignition key on and then you're done. PTO axle sensor adjust. Adjust the accelerator pedal stopper, turn buckle and kick damper if it's available to maintain the PTO axle sensor voltage within the standard range. This function can be